Yeah, sorry, but yeah, I would definitely think the keeper and the two centre halves are better than what Spurs have got. And uh, probably even the two lads in midfield. I think Tottenham have got so many average players. Mm. We talk about the pressure Spurs are on to be getting the top four and all this carry on. Kane and Son, you take them two out of that team, Spurs are an average Premiership team. I, I don't and I'm think being he polite. Knows. I don't think he knows. What, Jose's been here a couple of years now. I don't think he knows what his best 11 is. I think he's still scratching for that. He's not sure about... You go into a club, you work out pretty quickly who's for you in the long term and who isn't. Um, I'm not sure, experienced as he is, if he really knows who he can trust. Let's bring in Jamie Redknapp to the conversation. What's your take on that, Jamie? I don't think it's an average team, no, or an average squad. It's full of internationals. I think there's a lot of quality in this team. I don't think they're playing to their maximum. I'm not sure what... I agree with Graham there with Josie, doesn't know his best team. But if you look at that back four, you know, Dyer doesn't play today. He plays for England, Sanchez, Colombia. Aldevero plays for the number player, one Jamie. team in the world. That doesn't country. make you a good player. That, Sorry? Playing for your country doesn't make you a, a, no, no, a well, top you're player. A lot of if, if you can trap the ball, know, you will play for your country players, these whatever. days. <laughs> doesn't make you a top player because you're well, an international. I don't know about that. But I think you're talking about, but I'm talking about this Dyer, squad, Dyer, Dyer, I think they've got better players than you're giving credit for Dyer's been giving goals away every week. Yeah. Last week he gave a ball away. Yeah, he's been chopping and changing. Yeah, I agree with that. He's been chopping and changing, playing with a different player every week. That doesn't help. I don't mean that Jose knows his best team, but I don't think you can turn around and say this isn't a strong squad. It's full of internationals. There's internationals in every department. But being department. an international doesn't he make you a good team. Right backs. But don't, Jamie, still good players. Well, they play for good countries, though, Roy. They play, yeah. What you're saying, these aren't good players, then. You said Aldevero plays for Belgium. He's not a good player. He's not bad. Yeah, would he get any of the top teams? Would he get any of the top teams in England? Yeah, well, he would. Man United wouldn't take him. Man United, your, Man City your, your old team wouldn't sign him a few I'm years ago. I'm not sure Leicester would take him. Jamie, just Man hold United. a second. Roy, do you think this Spurs team I then think is, he's a is where it, it you're should talking be about there? there, Roy? Get in your Man United team right now. I, I, I think would. Keep, get in Man United's team. They, they keep looking at the Spurs team. I, I think Spurs were better two or three years ago with the Trippiers and the Ericsons when Ali had the hunger. But this Spurs team... Yeah. Spurs are good on their day, yeah, like, like lots of teams. And Jamie makes the point there, going, they've got a lot of international players. If you trap the ball, now you're going to play for your country. Everybody plays for their country. If you don't play for your country, no, you're, you are a well, bad so player. Yeah. So that doesn't guarantee no, that's anything. Not, that's not what I'm saying, Roy. Which, Jamie, yeah, which out of these lads would that's get in? Which, which, that... which out of this Tottenham team would get in Liverpool, Man City team, Chelsea team? You wouldn't touch any of them. Son what, and Kane. Three, you wouldn't touch them. Who? Son and Kane. What? Yeah, I take them two. Yeah, yeah I said them two. Like outstanding, but the rest of them, you okay. wouldn't touch them. See, I think the bigger picture. You for play out of Is a better centre back. He get in Man United's team as a centre back right now. I think he would. Yeah. I think the goalkeeper's not good enough. I'll agree with you there. I don't think he does well enough. I think the right, the two right backs they've signed. No, I don't trust Aurier and I don't trust uh, Doherty. He hasn't done well enough, but he plays in a back three. I think the back four isn't good enough. But I'll tell you what, Reggion is as good a left back as there is in the country. Yeah. So I think you've got that one wrong. I think he's a, he's a class player. That's I why Real Madrid let him go. Not got any that's why, Real Ma- why, why do you think Real Madrid let him what, go? So you're saying he's not, does that matter? Oh, because Real Madrid let him go. That doesn't make him a good player. Yeah, it's but how much did they let him go for? Country, not a good player, how much did they let him go is, for? It sounds like they paid 60, Sorry, 70 million. They might be able to buy him back, actually. Yeah, bring, so you're yeah, saying they bring Doherty in. He's a fantastic left back. playing for Wolves who are the last year have done well and they're expecting to compete, they sell him to Spurs for £15 million. Does anyone really think Doherty's going to make yeah. Spurs a top four team? No, Doherty, really? Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. What about the left back then? So you're saying Reggion's not a good player now. Is that what he you're is, saying? No, he's you a good player. See, you can't see a lot of Spurs. He, he is a good player. player. No, he's a good player. Just, t- just take a breath, Jamie. Very good. Well, I think Jamie would agree with you, Jimmy, that they are underachieving. I'm trying to work out what you're saying, Roy, is that they are where they should be, Spurs, in ninth place. I expect them to win today, and I expect them to be in the top seven or eight, but this idea that Spurs automatically should be in top four, if you analyse the group of players they've got, and people say, well, he's chopping and changing, he's chopping and changing for a reason, because he can't trust them. They, they played West Ham last week, we're talking about Bale. Bale came on and made a difference. What did he do? He put a corner in. He's... He's coming to do big things. For t- He's coming to Spurs to get him in the top four. He can't get in the starting 11 because, whatever we say, Marino's walking with these players day in, day out. And your eyes don't lie to you. And we're talking about Deli Alli. We're, we're sick of talking about Deli Alli. What do you think's going to happen with this kid? We're looking at his stats from two or three years ago. He's lost the hunger, he's lost the eye of the tiger. He's not going to get Tottenham back to the top four. And we have the same conversations every week. We look at the goalkeeper. OK, he's a French international. Yeah, he's part of a brilliant international team. Doesn't make, that doesn't mean to say he's brilliant. The full-backs, they've got about three right-backs at, uh, at Spurs. You wouldn't touch any of them. You would, I'm on about top four. 
Spurs could turn on today and win 2 or 3 nil, and afterwards we'd be all praising them. But this idea that Spurs should automatically be top four, and because Mourinho's a brilliant coach, Mourinho knows the game. He knows the game better than bloody all of us.